Our studios when it comes to hitting the waters along our coast, safety should be the first thing on your mind. Please welcome three news reporter Madeline Slatus joining us live once again with the Coast Guard and some important tips to remember. Madeline, good morning. Good morning, John Thomas. Well, here in the coastal bend, you know, people obviously like to be on, out on their boats a lot, but now that it gets warmer, there's going to be a lot more of that. So right now I'm joined with Mr. Mike uh, Cintron. Thank you so much again for being here. Um, tell me a little bit about some of the main things people should be keeping in mind uh, this summer when people are really going out there in the masses with their boats. Uh, first and foremost, as we start approaching bo boating season here in the coastal bend, I would recommend that folks wear their life jackets. 75% mm -hmm. um, of recreational boating accidents, deaths uh, with recreational boating accidents, happen because of drownings. Mm -hmm. um, out of that 75%, 86% of those uh, of those victims didn't have life jackets at the time. So, first and foremost most basic thing uh, get a life jacket that has been Coast Guard approved and that fits appropriately and is brightly colored so in the case that you do fall in the water uh, mm -hmm. folks will be able to see you and uh, be able to be, uh, find you r relatively quickly right and then we also talked a little bit about right before we got on camera the importance of creating some sort of plan or letting people know just exactly where you're going before you head out on any body of water right what, what's the importance of that so what we, we call that a float plan um, and the purpose of the float plan is just basically tell folks hey I'm going to be leaving at this time we're going to be going to this location and we're going to be coming back to uh, the pier at this specific time. That way, if you're overdue or late, they can contact us as the Coast Guard mm -hmm. with that float plan. That basically allows us uh, a very specific area to search mm -hmm. in case you are in distress. And then what are some of the uh, common, I guess, communication devices people should be keeping on board or, or are there other recommendations that you may, that you may have? Uh, first and foremost, a VHF marine radio. You can buy these at you know sports stores, uh, West Marine, anything along those lines. Um, because while <clears throat> uh, you may have a cell phone, sometimes cell phone range is lim relatively limited to uh, basically close to shore. And if you're out of cell phone range and you don't have a radio, it's very difficult to communicate with uh, other other boaters and the Coast Guard. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that very, very helpful information with us today. Thank you again for being here. And guys, once again, if you are not doing anything this weekend and you really want to get a hands-on uh, experience about what the Coast Guard does this Saturday from 10 to 2, you guys can check it out right there on Water's Edge Park. Uh, so reporting live with here at the Coast Guard, Madeline Salinas. 3 News. Uh, Barbie, John Thomas, back to you. This is great, Maddie. It is an awesome time for the family to get together and head out there and for the kids to get to actually touch those items and, and meet with the Coast Guard and uh, see what that's all about. Thank you so much for your reporting. We, we appreciate it. Good job, Madeline. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, who's this cutie behind us?